I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my student Anna. Anna, thanks a lot for posting this question. It's indeed an excellent question and requires a few tricks to solve. And I hope many of my subscribers will benefit from that. Uh, the question here is, a truck crossing the prairies at a constant speed of 110 kilometers per hour gets gas mileage of 8 kilometers per liter. Gas costs $1.15 per liter. The truck loses 0 0.10 kilometers per liter in fuel efficiency for each kilometer per hour increase in speed. The driver is paid $35 per hour in wages and benefits. Fixed costs for running the truck are $1.1550 per hour. If trip is 450 kilometer is planned, if a trip of 450 kilometer is planned, what speed will minimize operating cost? So we need to find an equation where we could relate cost with all these parameters, correct? So what we will do here is that we'll try to minimize operating cost per kilometer, right? So it doesn't really matter whether the, whether the truck runs for 450 kilometers or 4,000 kilometers. If we minimize operating cost per kilometer, we have minimized the total cost. You get an idea. Now, this really helps to simplify the solution of this question. And it's a very, very important, I should say, the key to the solution, right? So, at times you'll find in questions that there are there is information which could um, complicate the situation but if you could get rid of that information it becomes simpler now let's move forward there are a lot of things here to understand a truck crosses prairies at a constant speed of 110 kilometers per hour and the mileage is 8 kilometers per hour so what does that mean that really means that if we are moving at this speed then for every 8 kilometers, 1 liter of gas is consumed. But if we increase the speed by, let us say, x, correct? Then what happens to the, the consumption? So, so let's see like this. If I am using 110 kilometers as speed, I get 8 kilometers per liter, correct? But if I increase this by x amount, in that case, I lose more gas, okay? And so, so what I really get here is not 8 kilometers. I get 8 minus 0.10x, that much, kilometers per liter. You get an idea. Is it okay? So if I increase my speed, I don't get eight kilometers, but I get slightly less kilometers per liter. Perfect. So, so that is what you have to keep in mind. So that results into gas consumption, correct? So as far as the cost is concerned, uh, uh, the cost is in dollars per liter. Do you see that cost is in dollars per liter? So. As far as cost is concerned, now let's look into the cost. So the cost will be, if I'm moving at that speed, efficiency is this much. So the gas consumption will be, let's say 110 plus X is my speed and this is my efficiency. So it gets divided by 8 minus 0 0.10 X. Correct? So this gets divided by that. Now look at the units. It's kind of important to understand. So units here is the, the unit in the numerator is kilometers and unit in the denominator is, is efficiency, right? So efficiency is rather, I should say kilometers per hour. This is 
how many kilometers you do in one hour is that okay so that is your kilometers per hour and uh, here what we are doing is we are saying how many kilometers you go in one liter do you see that part kilometers per liter so if you look into this unit it becomes liters per hour it becomes liters per hour and the cost per liter is is 1.15 cost per liter is 1.15 so if i multiply this by 1.15 which is let me write normally we write dollars first but let me write here dollars per liter right now if i write dollars per liter you could easily do your math and you will understand the whole unit here is in dollars so it is cost in dollars since the gas price is dollars per liter so we got cost here in dollars do you understand we got cost here in in dollars now so per hour so this unit is dollars per hour okay liter liter will cancel and we have dollars per hour unit now the thing is that there are other costs also involved dollars per hour so what we're talking about is a unit let me write here so all this let me write here this unit is in dollars per hour is it okay so we have dollars per hour cost here there are other costs involved in dollars per hour and these are the fixed cost for the driver and for running of the truck so that means i have to add those costs which is 35 plus 15.50 you get an idea so these are also costs which are in dollars per hour so we have cost in dollars per hour now if i divide all this by my speed which is 110 plus x now the units for <coughs> speed is kilometers per hour is that okay so this is kilometers per hour the numerator is dollars per hour per hour per hour cancel so what we are talking about is a cost which is in dollars per kilometer is it okay because that kilometer remains you get an idea so this is how we find a function c which is dollars per kilometer and we need to minimize operating cost per kilometer that is dollars per per kilometer this is what we have to do now that is the key to understand now take your time to understand this equation and then we'll move forward so we could write this equation now when you divide this by this then 10 plus x gets cancelled off you get 1.15 in the numerator is that okay so you could write this as 1.15 in the numerator divided by 8 minus this unit because that gets cancelled off i have limited space so i'm not really using so much of space here so i hope that step is can after cancellation is clear so this is how the first part gets and now we do we have to add this add add them we got 55 i mean 50.5 okay so we have 50.5 zero i mean right over now in this particular case this is divided by 10 plus x 110 plus x is it okay so this is the equation which you get in dollars per kilometer dollars per kilometer so that becomes your equation for the cost and now next step to find the minimum cost you have to do the derivative with respect to x so let's find what is the derivative of this function now we'll apply the quotient rule to find derivatives so this is if you apply the quotient rule the denominator becomes 8 minus 0 point i mean this is x here 0 0.10x whole square 
derivative of this is zero so we get minus this times 1.15 times derivative of inside function derivative of inside function which is minus 0 0.1 is that okay so we get so I wrote minus inside functions minus 0 0.1 So that's what you get, and this minus and minus will make it plus. Perfect. Now on this side, we have plus. Derivative will be square of 110 plus x whole square minus 50.5 times derivative of this, which is 1. So that is what you get, correct? So let's rewrite this with common denominator. Or to make it simple, for making it maximum or minimum, we need to equate this to zero. We need to equate this to zero. Is it okay? That means these two terms should be equal. Correct? So let me write this cross multiply and write them in the equation form. So what do you get from here? So this implies that has to be zero. So that factor is equal to this factor. This is minus minus plus now. And this one is negative, okay? So what you get here is 0 0.115, when you multiply this, is okay, times that number, which is 110 plus x whole square should be equal to this times this, is it okay? 50.5 times that number, which is 8 minus 0 0.1 x whole square. Perfect. So this is the equation you need to solve. Now if I square root both sides, then, then I can easily solve this. So if I square root both sides, I get rid of this square. Right? Now this is a small number, so what I will do here is, let me use the space. Let me push this page a bit. Okay. So what we, we could write this as, let me write 110 plus x over I mean, okay, I'll, I'll over, over all this, okay, let's do like this, equals to 50.5 over this, 0 0.115 square root times 8 minus 0 0.1 x. So what I did was, I divided this by this number and then square root, so got rid of those squares. So let's calculate what this number is. So we have within square root 50.5 divided by 0.115. That gives me 20.95. Okay, 21, let's take this as. So what we get here is 21 times 8 minus 0.1x. Is it okay? Now let's open the bracket, which is okay. Let me just multiply 21 times 8. Let's round it. So we have 168 minus 0.1 if I do, I get 2.1x, correct? Okay, so 110 plus x is equal to all this, bring them together and solve. So when I bring 2.1 on this side, okay, so I get, I get what? Let me rewrite. So I get 2.1x plus x equals to 168 minus 110, okay? So that gives me 3.1x equals to, take away this, so we have 58. And this implies x is equals, I mean, x is equals to 58 by 3.1, which is how much? Which is 58 divided by 3.1 equals to decimals, 18.7. Okay, let's say 19. So x is 18.7. So if x is 18.7, my speed is how much? So I think you get it. Let me write down here now. Answer. So what we get here is x is equal to 18.7. Let me round this to 19. Is it okay? So x is 19. And my speed is, that means my speed should be how much? 110 
plus or minus 19 is plus so it'll just do plus 19 which gives me 129 kilometers per hour is it okay so approximately I rounded a lot of figures to do all this calculation and got this value is it okay so that becomes the most efficient speed in the given scenario perfect now if you have to say that this is the minimum cost what you need to do here is you know the denominators are positive in this case both are positive and the numerators as you can see if I uh, if I take a value which is less than this we can find the cost so what you can do is you can just find the cost for values which are less than 129 and cost for values which are greater than 129 substitute in your equation and verify correct so I'll leave that to you but anyway the critical part here was to write this particular equation which I showed you with the units it helps and what we found is the speed which is going to minimize operating cost per kilometer right so if that we could do then then we actually uh, get the right answer so that's how you could do it so I hope that really helps thank you and all the best